Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about the Racer Star Sprog Motors or Sporg Motors. I don't know what the hell they're called. Sprog, I think. Anyways, we're going to be talking about those. They're $48 for five motors. They come in a bunch of different flavors. And the one that I tested today was the 2206-2300 KV. Uh, it's these little black ones here. Now these are really nice. For, for 48 bucks, you get five motors. How are they going to perform? We're going to get into that in a little bit. Today, in the same day, I actually took out the Emax Race Spec 2s. Two versions of them, the 2306-2400 KV, which is this one, and the 2206-2700 KV, which is on another one, and what else did I take? I took some, some other motors as well, the T-Motor F60 V3 Multi-GP Edition, but we'll talk about those later. Now, I was very curious to see how these two are going to perform. This, this had the Shing 2207-2400 KV motors before. This one had the Emax Eco Motors Low KV6S before. Now... Come to my surprise, I was really disappointed with the Emax Race Spec 2 motors. Uh, they're the 2306-2400 KV. To be honest, I really did not enjoy flying this one. And that was a really big surprise to me. And I would preferably and rather fly the Racer Star one more than this one. And it just, these motors actually felt way better and just more torquey. However, they're not torquey on the full throttle band. Um, towards the, the, the lower part, uh, you could kind of see, once you see the flight footage of this, you'll see that I get really close to the ground at times because I'm used to some of the motors just to just have that instant rush of torque just gets me out of those situations. However, when in this one, it felt like there was a lag in that torque that would just pick me up out of that spot. But I did get out of most of the spots, except the crash that you're going to see now, where I overestimated the amount of torque, which means I thought I would have enough to just get over that tree, but I guess I didn't. And that was one of the first crashes of the day. Luckily, nothing happened. Just the propeller just got, didn't even break. It just got bent. Um, in terms of performance, it's really nice. Once you stay above the 25% um, throttle range, I would say. Uh, because there it's just it feels much more controllable there uh, Saying that this doesn't make it a bad motor. It actually makes it a really good motor for the price You're getting a lot of performance and it is quite remarkable what racer star did with this motor I do have some other sprog motors, but I don't remember how they tested But these come in many different flavors and sizes the one I'm talking about here is a 2206 2300 kV now, let's jump to the Emax Race Spec 2 here. This is the 2306-2400 KV, and I was quite disappointed, like I mentioned before. However, you might say, okay, well, obviously, this is a lot bigger. It's, there's only 30 grams difference. Yes, I know that could make a difference, but the, the, the way that I know that it's, it's obviously, it's not really a big, big difference, but the frame has a lot to do with it as well. But I was running the Emax Eco 6S on this before. It was flying great. I flew, I had some other motors on here. It was flying great. That's why I also know this is also a, a motor testing quad, specifically for low KV, but I didn't have any more low KV motors. That's why I decided to stick these on there. They're both running 5-inch propellers. Now, this one really disappointed. These motors really disappointed me. Maybe someone else has a better experience, but I was expecting just a lot more to be honest not a little bit more a lot more however with this one the one that's currently running the new race the race the cheap racer star motors i had the fly i flight uh shing i think 2207 2450 kv those felt good it felt stable and torquey on most of the throttle range uh but this one you can feel it it's a little bit less top end but it has these moments of a lot of torque I don't, it's so hard to explain this um once you're out of the 25 percent throttle range you have a ton of torque there and you're picking up momentum which is really nice on the shing it was a very consistent torque all over this one you just have uh it's just a sweet spot over 25 percent that's what i felt with this one this one is the torque on the race the emax race spec are all over kind of but it was maybe i don't know i just I just couldn't feel these motors. Maybe I'll take it out again and give it a maybe 20 more flights and see how well it does. But I was truly disappointed with these. Now, now it's not saying they're bad either, but this is my experience. I just, I, I was disappointed in them. I don't know why they performed the way they did. I was expecting a lot more. And they do have a bunch of, uh, what is it called? That uh, balancing blue glue all over this uh, motors. 
So yeah, these actually disappointed, and I would, to be honest, I would rather have jumped on the Racer Star motors. What I'm thinking of doing, possibly, if I have time, I'm going to remove these and put them on this one also, and test it and see how well it does. Um, and I'm also going to take these and put them on this one and see how well it does. But I, it's, it's really obvious that these are performing slightly better, or just, actually, I like to, these performing way better than, than those, to be honest. And... Um, that's the dead honest truth right now. Uh, I was surprised myself. Uh, obviously, these aren't the best motors. I do have way better motors. But these, for the average flyer, the person that knows and can feel his quad when you're on that stage, uh, I guarantee you, you're going to like these motors quite a lot. Especially if you want a bashing quad, uh, this is going to be a really, really good motor for you. Because what I'm planning on doing with this is I want to try to do 3D flying. And these are the motors I'm going to use. So it's going to be really interesting. And I hope it turns out really great. And uh, obviously you guys will see the upcoming on the channel. So my final thoughts on the Racer Star. I think they're really good for the price. And they perform as good as some $20 motors. The super low end isn't there. But that doesn't affect your flight. And you'll see that right now. I'm going to show you the footage of this one first. And then later on, I'll show you, I'll drop in the footage of this one. I'll have them named up top on the video. And uh, they both had exactly the same propellers, same setup, same battery. Uh, just the only difference is this one's 30 grams heavier. But that shouldn't really make a big, big difference like it did. It, it just comes down to the motor, in my opinion. And um, yeah, let me hear you guys' thoughts. Anyone use the Racer Star Sprog Motors, the 2206? Let us know how your experience went. These have matured in the market, so there's going to be a lot of people who already used them. And overall, I'm very satisfied with them, and I would definitely recommend them as a even a beginner motor because you're going to be break, you're probably going to break a motor, but you're going to get premium performance for a very cheap price. And I'm gonna leave it at that, guys. I'll have everything linked down below. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.